All right, here we are, Cosmic Shine 2018 finals. Flush and JW, I believe both of their wins are considered upsets. Definitely, uh, beating Thunder is no easy task. The man is ranked number 11 in Canada, and Flush beat him. Uh, being in his way to win his finals, and then JW making. I don't. I don't know which one's considered the better player over the other, but a hard matchup for Greninja and JW making an extremely close game five closer closure with his forward smash. Um, just very well spaced at the end. So I mean, here he is sitting there after a game five. You know, grand finals. Oh, sorry, uh, win his finals. Winner. Excellent players. Uh, JW I believe is number seven on the PR blush. It's cursed with HM for the past several. But you know what? With like this today, I don't, I don't see a reason why he wouldn't be able to make it. You know, he's he's proven today. You that know, this man actually he stands up super well against opponents. This man took Cormier Kiri to Game Three last hit and uh, Frostbite. Man's well, no joke. Well, there you have it. You're leaving early. <laughs> All right. Just make sure somebody else is uh, aware to catch up. Who, who can they talk to? Cool. Okay. So, um, HC Six Tails is going to be headed off pretty uh -huh. soon. But and regardless, we, like this, we have right here myself, the man, the myth, and the legend, HT's very own Teddy. And we got HT uh, moves, but for now, we're going to call me HT Send Moves because uh, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, we're into game one. Heading, already. heading into game one, gonna start off on Smash Bros. Two pretty quick characters, two characters that can punish really hard. Oh yeah. I do you know anything about Smash Bros? I, I can tell. I feel like this is a pretty uh, momentum-based matchup. I mean, these characters are just generally momentum-based. You know, GW gets one setup and he's going crazy with the footstool combo. I don't know if uh, good tag. I don't know if Blush is uh, versed in the footstool combos himself. I would. I mean, I would take a guess well, and say he would. When in, in his set against in Blush's set against Thunder, which I also commentated. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, that set was purely punished. It was just they, punished. It like. Other than like one of the games, I think it was like game three or something, mm -hmm. they were just punishing each other so, so hard. It was kind of absurd. Oh, man. Every every touch, they were at death percent. That and sounds like any matchup versus Ryu and any matchup versus Captain Falcon, because these guys yeah. just have the touch of death. The landing up there, the, the light up till, you know. Yeah, but you know, you gotta be ver you gotta be well versed in the characters to be able to do that. And both Blush and Thunder were doing it extremely well. And we saw JW do a lot of clutch things in his winner's semi set. So I honestly believe this is probably going to game five. I wouldn't be surprised. With the way these two are playing, JW just super clutch in these high pressure moments and Blush punishing so, so hard. This is, this is going to be one competitive set. Yeah, but even at a minute and 30 down on the clock, the first clock is yet to be taken. Have I spoken too soon? JW got him off stage. Oh, nice. that back there, that should be it. Yes, there there it goes. First stock taken almost two minutes into the set. That was just a tiny bit risky because, uh, I mean, he, Captain Falcon was looking to, uh, he was looking to uh, use his up B there, and he could have traded. Uh, he could have grabbed him instead, but JW making the back of the space work out there. Yeah. Um, all right. So, unfortunately, a little bit earlier, uh, Blush only got the weak back air. JW didn't talk off of it, but luckily he's not at a high percent at all. He's gonna get a nice punish there. Just 20, 27%. I mean, you know, it's not amazing. It's not too shabby. Mm -hmm. You know, you you always want follow ups off of your hits. If it's for oh. damage, no oh. tech there. The jump. I don't know where it went. I was taken in the when he got bumped on the wall there right before. Yeah. So that's going to be JW. Very clutch fashion there. Almost a, a cloud esque game. Character known to have an explode, uh, well, Falcon known to have somewhat of a linear explore recovery. I don't know, man. The man, like, if you've seen a Captain Falcon, like, recover, like, he can weave in and out, like, really well. Yeah, make he, it, like, quick tricky. He, he has a linear recovery in the sense that you always know which way he's going while he's going up. And also the fact that. You don't even have to two frame him to stop him from grabbing the ledge. Right, because he uh, his hand reaches pretty high on the ledge when he yeah. grabs it. He goes a little too high, and you could hit him off that. That's something that you know, 
this game's been out for a while, and not too many people have been catching on to abusing that as That's much. That's a melee thing, I suppose, eh? Uh, as a melee player, Ooh. as a melee player, you know, That's it. we look for stuff like that all the time. Oh, wait, he saved his jump! Oh my You're god. You're kidding me! That was an amazing recovery by Blush there. He fooled me! I thought I thought that was it. I was like, ah, he got lost his jump, oh, he's, he's gonna... got down smash like twice, but not. Yeah, JW just got the uh, roll or spot dodge read, I think, there. And, uh... Got him off the stage, but you know JW with a nice little percent lead here. Oh, the air dodge and the double. The double stomp, going to take JW's first stock here. He had a lead. He yeah, had a lead. Where'd he go? And this is this is exactly what happened in Winter Semis. Blush had like a I deficit said, against momentum Thunder. Momentum-based characters. Yeah, you know Blush doesn't care about his deficits. Goes in there and he takes your stock. What percent am I at? Who cares? You're dead. <laughs> or rather, a JW is telling that to blush. <laughs> Alright, so 52%, oh. that's a lot of up airs. This is so much damage, man. Yeah, the up air, uh, what is it? The, wind, the windmill? <laughs> oh, there up you go. Knee. And that's gonna take the stock blush with a JV2 here in game 2. Landing up there. The, the reason why Captain Falcon is still seen in tournaments. I kid, I kid. But yeah, no, it's not to be made under mind. Falcon's landing up air has single digit uh, landing frames. It's like, basically L cancel, dude. It is basically. I mean Sheik's Sheik has low landing lag, but like Captain Falcon's up air is even less. Like it's like nine or eight or something. And it's like really low. the best part about his landing up air is you literally get it to combo into his forward air. Insanely strong forward air and insanely high forward air. And if it doesn't hit, I mean, you can either just jab or grab them. Like, you're in an advantageous position no matter which land, which hit you land. Yeah, you know, it like, other than, you know, if your opponent's at 0% and they take, like, no knockback. But, like, it's such a strong oh. move for being at high percent. Oh, they're going in. They're going in off stage. That downer was scary. Yeah. I thought he was going to steal. No, it was, it, it was very close to being that way. And, um, I saw the same before is how, uh, Getting the air out there. How trying to trade with uh, Falcon's up B, you could get knocked away like that. GW was under the stage. It was a tricky position, but uh, and you know what? Falcon's up. Falcon's up B does 18 percent. It does 18. 18. If I'm not mistaken, it's a lot of percent. It's that's quite a lot of damage. It's more than my down air. Why? <laughs> Poor Toon Link. Poor Toon Link. It's okay. Toon Link's still a better character. Oh, oh my gosh, that and it worked. The DBZ trade. The the, the get up into side B. Blush the... pulling the Goku side of that DBZ trade. Oh, wins out on it. And he keeps his rage. Look at him. I wonder if he couldn't get those windmills normally without the rage. Because he's keeping them in tumble knockback. That was sick movement there. Top pop. Gonna dash dance, I believe. Should have his jump. Yeah, I think he oh, still he got just, the... Oh! No... Oh, he just... Ah, the trade! No tech there, which is so unfortunate because he reacted after he missed the tech. What happened? Did he like um? He got hit by the up beat. And it, he got hit on the stage like under the stage. later than normal. I don't know. You I, know did he like, like bounce below the stage? Yeah, he, he yeah. bounced off of the bottom of the stage. The timing I think was really weird, so I don't even blame JW for missing it. But like, it sucks. Um, that's how it went. Blushes up 2-0. Or 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. One. Two, one. And LDW taking it to a pretty good kind of mistake for the character. You know, regardless of the fact that that game was a two-stock. It was a two-stock. That, that, that was a competitive game. You know, JW kind of got, like, the short end of the stick there with something so... Like, you don't expect to lose your stocks from stage bugs. That's not what you're looking for, you know? Mm -hmm. You're looking to outplay them on stage. You're looking to edge guard them better than a edge guard you. You know, and uh, JW was doing a really good job keeping up with Blush in the in that sense, keeping up in the neutral, keeping up in the punish game. Except his Ooh. he missed one tech and yeah. he lost he lost the game. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna get those air dodges. No stomp coming out from Blush there on the edge guard. Blush is trying to capitalize on the conditioning throughout the set now, mixing up the timing so he's uh, his knees and his stomps can connect. And uh, JW is just barely out of reach, but Blush is getting closer every time. Yep. Uh, JW off the stage again. Offstage against Blush is really scary. You know he's Captain Falcon. He likes to jump out there. He likes to throw those knees out, those backers out. He likes to stop the ledge. You really have to mix up the way you're recovering against this Captain Falcon. And low key, Captain Falcon's ledge trapping game is actually really good. You know what he, you know what he do? Just just hold jab, hold jab at the ledge, and it can uh, cover everything except roll. And after that, you know Captain Falcon just have to practice his uh, timings on the punishing. Yeah, and the reactions. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, uh, Blush is mixing in a lot of. Uh, uh, space backers, 
which are pretty good at catching neutral, I believe, in Shigeru Fudo is after the game. Oh, get the st stop him oh, no there. Oh, Saga forward throw? Is that going to take it? No, the it's DI. not. That's the DI mix-up as well. Oh, Ooh. he just gets him with the Shadow Sneak there. That's the mix-up, man. It's hard to know when he's uh, charging that thing. Oh, he barely has spaces, but he gets the jab. JW fighting really hard to keep his first stock here. Oh, but he nice catches him on the top platform. That was nice coverage over there. Nice reaction to the recovery. Uh huh. Oh, oh catches him with a, a two frame of below grab before he grabbed the ledge, I believe. And here he goes. I, I believe Blush has all the momentum he needs right now. It's just going. Blush is getting so many grabs on JW. And JW is just trying to like mix them up with the Shadow Sneak, hits them, cancels. Oh, but now he's got his own combo off stage. Oh, he's unable to cover it, but he oh. catches the landing. Oh, he's a little oh. too high on that one. Just misses out on that uh, pistol combo there. Oh, almost Weak had knee. it. Almost had it. That would have been right. but, but you know, don't let that baby. He's still going. JW is still trying to go off now. Doesn't catch him on the platforms. He, he jumped up to that platform, not going straight for like something like an up smash. Trying to get a little bit more damage and probably playing it safe, assuming there could be a 10. You know? And I, I respect that decision a lot. Really good decision. All right, catching off stage, JW. This is it. Oh, he doesn't catch. The back, he doesn't kill either. This is a nail biter. This is such a nerve wracking game. You see the backers? It? it doesn't kill still. This is crazy. All these backers from uh, Blush, he's trying to catch the jumps and the neutrals and whatever he does, catches up with the up air so that he can oh, avoid hit. That match was crazy. You can hear from over here. Yeah. Oh man, JW is playing from behind here. He's trying to get that. He really has to work super hard. He can't get hit by almost any of Captain Falcon's moves. And now, and Plus recognizes that. You see how he's like, Phantom Pistol, he does, he's tripping him up. He's either landing up or it's a Tom Hat Graph, or he's gonna just confuse you. The walking down tilt oh. across up? No gentleman stock right there. Oh, he's trying, he's doing every mix up in the book. No two frame by Blush. Okay. That's another gentleman. Oh, That's and he gonna kills. Take it. That's gonna be Blush. Taking it 3 1 over JW here, winner's final. Like I said, just hold A at the ledge. And when you're at like 160, a jab will kill the gentleman. Great stuff coming from Blush. Going to winner's finals. Oh, you're right. Grand finals. Ups, uh, defeating JW and, uh, and Thunder. I don't think it stopped yet, by the way. Stop it, stop it. Sorry, 